10, 3, 1, and 1 to 2 on the scale, just double your ABC, okay? So a high alcohol beer, that's what we're looking for at this point, but now we want that high alcohol spirit. So how are we going to get all of the alcohol away from the rest? We are going to distill it away in the next process, okay? Any questions, guys? Yes. No worries. You said sprinkle stone has been really taking this for beer. Yes. What about building beer? Now, I'm sure that there are people in Dublin City that have been illegally making it, but they certainly weren't telling us about that. <laughs> well, what's more common is that they make something called pushy. The exact thing that they stop to do the last one to get off it. It's really rare that they have the need to go ahead and barrel it and create a new there for us. So, we do see a lot of people who are using this that we use. 75% nitrogen, only 25% carbon dioxide. So they started trying experimenting with nitrogen with Guinness in the 1930s. 1959, Guinness draft was launched. Now even though it's our biggest seller, it makes up 50% of Guinness sales nowadays. It's actually the newest in the four variants, four family variants of Guinness Allen. Um, FES goes back to 1801, the old So, We'll be pouring it upstairs anyway. It's 119.5 seconds, um, two part four, let it settle. This is called the surge. In a surge, that's where the gas is settled. So then we tell people to use your sight. And I love this question. What color is it? Ruby red. Ruby red, yeah. Ruby red. So people always say dark brown or black. We call it the black stuff. A lot of people say purple. Well, Here's John and Guinness trying to pour his perfect pint. Straight up. Keep pouring. Oh, man. Stop. Right. Good job. Most funny you have to close. It's not going to surge the beer again, it's not going to add to the size of the head. That's why we do it. So we keep it going up essentially <laughs> until it's about a millimetre or so above the rim of the glass. A tiny bit, a little dog shape at the top, just proud of the rim. Sixth and final step then is presentation on the counter. Get us facing forward, steady hand so it doesn't spill down the side. Perfect. Dan, is this the first Guinness you've ever poured? Wow. It is. It really is. And it's absolutely yummy. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> is that really a thing? Oh, yeah. Yay, peace. That's my first name. That's my first name. That's my first name. That's fine, That's fine. yeah. Hi, it's day three of the Brutopia Ireland beer tour, and we're at uh, Carlo O'Hara's uh, Brewery in uh, Carlo, Ireland. And this is the owner, Seamus, which we're very pleased to meet today. Seamus, thank you for having us. Oh, you're, you're absolutely welcome. How does it feel to be one of the craft beer pioneers in Ireland? Uh, it feels good, you know. Uh -huh. It's just been a tiring 20 years, but. Oh, you know. <laughs> All right. We're hoping for a break uh, one of these days. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's your favorite part of, uh, of being a brewery owner? 
I mean, I love being around the brewery and just uh -huh. seeing what's going on and trying out different beers, different uh, yeah. ingredients. But I suppose getting out and about, meeting people and sampling uh -huh. beers in the bar is, is great as well. You know? Okay, mm. very good. Yeah. Particularly in the US. Oh, yeah, yeah. There. So, How many yeah. countries do you uh, sell beer in now? We sell to about 30 different countries. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Um, and like when we started, there was very little domestic market, so we survived by exporting. Uh -huh. um, and the US was one of the first riots, 2002, I think, we started exporting to the US. Right, right. Um, How do you feel about the Irish craft beer scene now? It's yeah, good. I mean, it's really vibrant now. Like I say, it wasn't like that 2015, even five no. years ago. But no. It's really taken off, um, and it's, it's great to be part of what's happening now. I was here just six years ago, and a guy in a pub said, you got Guinness and Heineken. What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, heard, I heard that one for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Things have really changed. I think it's doing yeah. a big part to, uh, to to Carlo. I mean, you guys have done a good job. Yeah, look, we, we were chipping away for a long time. I think gradually, you know, it's one by one customers come to craft beer, yeah. and then right. you know, then you know, people talk to each other. So uh -huh. now, now more and more bars in Ireland yeah. will have. They'll still have the mainstream, but they'll, right. they'll have some craft available. Yeah. And you're using a lot of American hops in some, in some beers now, so are those going over well? Yeah, that's going over well. I suppose, as I've heard, there's a lot of interest in using uh, you know, aromatic hops, different hops. I mean, right. Ireland used to have a hop production you know, going back 30, 40 years, uh -huh. more for kind of bittering hops, but that yeah. died out, so we have to import all our hops. Right. Uh, at the right. moment, uh, save for you know, small, small quantities. Uh, Very nice. But yeah, a lot of interest in, uh, yeah, we get a lot of hops from sort of South Western US, but also New Zealand, Australia, uh, um, from Europe as well. Uh, uh, yeah. Very good. Well, thanks yeah. for all that you do and for helping Irish yeah. beer progress so, so far so quickly. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for having thanks us. Here. Yeah. yeah. Now, did y'all start out with this large facility? I mean, you started out with this original building, and uh, no, we moved here in 2009. So we started out with. Actually, you might have seen some small 15. Right, right, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. they're not ever far away. Okay, I should probably wonder. Some 15 in here. In a place like 10 miles from here. And a nice small old school building. Outside the train station. It's just the whole crew enjoying some samples and sandwiches. And Carlo. Here's Alan, the brewmaster. Alan, say hi. <laughs> How do you feel about Irish craft beer these days? It's fantastic. Yeah. Right. To see so many new people coming in the industry, and so many people making new steps in the craft beer. Yeah. Very good. You're doing a good job. The beers are terrific. Sorry, to, sorry to talk to you with a sandwich in your mouth. <laughs> Somebody, please, please kiss me. I'm desperate. Haley, I'm desperate. Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> she won't fucking kiss me. Kiss me. How, Sorry. How's the beer? Just, oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. This has been the best trip so far. It's really fun. This has been fantastic. Ireland is great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Dan, Dan, any comment? Uh, yeah, it's been a great trip as always. Oh, you've done an amazing time. Thanks. The craft beer scene in Ireland is growing rapidly. It's just it's incredible how uh, how cool this place is, and it's great to be involved uh, with this trip by year to year. Yeah, Ireland craft beer has come a long way. Here's Siobhan. Siobhan, say hi. Here's Sachin from Five Points Bottle. Say hi. What's going on? Five Points Bottle Shop in Athens. 2017. You can't beat it. If you've never been to Athens, you got to go to Five Points. Thanks, Sachin. You have a long way to go. Go this way. There's better light. You're gonna go to this better light. I'm a backlit. Are you having fun, Carrie? I'm having a blast. Did you know that O'Hara's they, they make a cider? They do. It's actually quite nice, yeah. And they just bought a cidery down the road. That's What's it called? 
Um, their cider that they currently make is called Falling Apple, and they just bought the cider called Craggy's. Um, very earthy, nice, beautiful um, bottle of ciders. Nice. It's very good. The beer is good too. But. Cool. Anybody have a comment? Yeah. Spike. Spike had a birthday yesterday. Drink this beer. It's good. It's good stuff, huh? They make a lot. They have a whole plethora. They have a plethora? See? See how many flavors? Wow. Very nice. Yes. You like beer? Spikes with terrapin. You make a lot of flavors too, right? Flavors with big flavors, right? Beer flavors. Tiny, any comment? Country Malt Company. Sriracha Yates, right here. Happy Adventure. Yeah. Delicious. Good stuff. Great stuff. Sriracha Yates is a great hop. Trap from Yellow Belly Beer, based in Wexford Town, and I'm very proud to show off our new purpose-built brewery just outside. Um, our, our Main Street pub. Um, so yeah, hoping to do our first brew on Tuesday. You've got the pit there behind us. First brew going in there tomorrow. Um, and yeah, really exciting times. We've scaled up from a 200 litre brewery originally in May 2015 to our new 5,000 litre brewery. So great organic growth. Um, now let's just hope we have the demand to, to service it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, really exciting times. It's great to have people from American states coming up to see us. It's our little baby, we're very proud of it. Um, so hopefully if you're in the area, call in and say hello. And you started in the basement of the... Uh, started in the basement of Simon Appert and Sons in uh -huh. Mexico Town, right. producing 200 litre batches, about seven or eight kegs at a time, yeah. and uh, obviously all served in a brew pub. Then we upscaled to a 600 litre brewery and right. 1,000 litre fermenters, which is currently in the brew pub downstairs that we'll be using for our in-house specials and our in-house beer. And then this will be for all our outside orders, so 5,000 nice. litre brewery. So when we get to fermenters, we'll have capacity for about 20,000 litres a week, um, which we hope to hit pretty soon and then expand on. Uh, yeah, very Sign good. Times. You are, the yellow belly. You, are you excited about this new facility? This oh, is beautiful. It's amazing, yeah. It's yeah. You want to be able to meet the demand and get more people to taste the beers and yeah. start exporting and get start getting people. It's like, it's like starting a brewery for the first time again. It's, it's a completely different experience. And, right. uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Very good. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Hey, everybody, how did you like Yellow Belly? Woo! Really nice. The great stuff. Yeah. Thanks. So here we are, it's 2017 and it's February and we're in Ireland and we're making a, uh, a great collaboration beer between uh, Terrapin Beer Company, Spike and 8 Degrees Brewing and these are the guys from 8 Degrees on the bookends and that's Spike in the middle and tell us who you are. So I'm Daniel, I'm Brewer at 8 Degrees Brewing. Okay. Spike, Brewer, Terrapin Beer Company. Okay. And I'm Scott, I'm one of the, one of the owners of 8 Degrees. Okay. Scott does not have an Irish accent, he is from New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. So, how about the beer? Yeah, so today we're brewing a Black Rye IPA, uh, around 6% ABV, and we're having full of hops, so we're, we're hoping it's going to come out fairly well. Okay. What are, what are the hops in there? So you've Nuggets, you've Cascade, Simcoe, Citra, uh, Mandarina, Bavaria is going to be the dry hop. Very nice. Spike, what did you, uh, what, what ideas did you contribute here to the brew? Well, I always have to contribute some rye. Yeah. As, as like in every collaboration I do, right. we put some rye in there. But uh, yeah, we just basically took a, an American style IPA. We made a black IPA and threw some rye in there. So it's a rye black IPA, bitter and twisted. Sounds great. And it's, it's going very slowly because of the rye, of course. But that's to be expected. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Scott, what are your comments? Yeah, so I mean, this is—it's been been great fun. Like we uh, we really wanted to, to to come up with something that was really dark and bitter and strong, and uh, and so uh, yes, yeah, so first we've done uh, sitting like quite a few IPAs. We've done quite a few black IPAs. We've done some rye uh, beers before, but never never all all in together. So. It's going to be just a big black bit of bitterness and hot. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, but no, we're going to be really excited. So we, we should be getting it out um, 
really across across Ireland in uh, in about a month's time. So okay. in um, what do we know? Yeah, mid in mid uh, mid April it should be getting there, but uh, it should get as far as Italy. I, don't, I haven't talked about that yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Italy, yeah. yeah. So uh, nice. yeah, in uh, northern Italy. So the um, yeah, but uh, I I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a great, great coming together of, of different, different ideas. Yeah. And this is all made with normal yeast. There's no wild yeast or no sourness in any of these. No, yeah. It's just a not on purpose. Not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. No, no, we, 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 we don't sour beers unless we intend to. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very yeah, good. Yeah. No, straight, straight up our yeast. And um, yeah, but no, it's going to be, it's going to be big. It's going to yeah. be strong. Sounds good. It's hoppy and spicy from the rye, and yeah. it sounds really delicious. Yeah, they make fantastic beers here, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. So very, very honored to brew with these guys because their beers are fantastic. Absolutely. So, What's your favorite beer, Scott, that you make right now? Uh, well, the beer that Spike's drinking here, the Full Irish, is uh -huh. sort of one that we're, we're particularly proud of. And uh, it uh, yeah, showcases um, the, the malt barley that we have in Ireland. And, uh, and it showcases some luscious, luscious hops from the States as well. So okay. it's, it's just, uh, yeah, really sort of bangs out the Amarillo and Citra, yeah. Citra notes. So it's, yeah, really, uh, really proud of that one. I think it's my favorite too. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great nice. beer. Very nice. It's really beautiful. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been fun. Thanks, guys. Any, yeah. any final cheers, words? Everybody. Yeah, cheers. Any final words? No, oh, looking forward to it. Okay, okay. yeah. yeah. I might have to fly back over and try it. I'm looking forward to come back when the new brewery is built. Yeah, right. <laughs> when do you think you'll be done with the new brewery across the uh, across the parking lot? Uh, it should be should be kind of around some midsummer. Okay, uh, midsummer. I, I'm trying not to be fixed in on month or days or or anything. It's, uh, yeah, midsummer gives me some latitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but that's a fun, fun project. It'd be great to, it's been great to show you guys around, around it as well. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful facility over there, so that's great. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers, yeah, everybody. Everybody. Terrapin, eight degrees. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tiny, you having fun? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's been tough. Arms had to be twisted a couple times, but it's been good. Yeah. Good. Great trip. Great trip. Beautiful weather finally today, too. Yeah. Clips of Mohor yesterday were a little cloudy, socked in. Uh, a little yeah, cloudy. we're inside of the brewery today, and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, right. <laughs> Jr. With, Jr. with Max Loggers, how you doing? I'm doing well. Great. Cool. You having fun? Oh, absolutely. Always have fun on these trips. You want to move to Ireland now? Mm, probably not. Probably I'm not. not. <laughs> here a lot. Right. Cool. <laughs> Here's the thirsty giant, Lee. Lee. Yeah. Hey, Owen. Cool. Brewtopia. What's your favorite beer here at Galway Bay today? I like the mixed fermentation. Yeah. Uh, delicious. You got some good lactic acid in the belly before I have my food for the day. Yeah. So uh, Galway has been amazing. Cool. Um, the weather is exactly what we expected in Ireland. <laughs> and the people in Ireland are absolutely fantastic. They are. Um, every pub we've gone to, people want to talk to us. And it's not just about Trump. They want to talk about other stuff too, like yeah. beer, cool. which is awesome. Some of the best people in the world in so Ireland. Cheers nice. from Ireland. Sure. Some of the nicest people. This is Lorian, Will Avery's wonderful wife. Say hi. Hi, my name is Will's wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't, yeah. I said, oh. I said Lorian. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing fine. It depends on my audience. Right. This is, wor this is worldwide. This is worldwide. You're doing excellent. You don't want to be on the video? Okay. <laughs> What's your grade? Anybody have any comments? I'm out of beer, but other than that, they're, oh my god, delicious. how are you able to function? <laughs> oh, Kaylee, are you having fun? Good, so yes, I'm having a great time. Great. The experiment's wonderful. Everything here is wonderful. They've worked so hard. It's, they have. I'm really proud of Will. He's yes. done a great job. He's worked really hard. He's done a good job. It's fantastic. Lorian, are you proud of Will? Yeah, like sometimes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet.
Ashley, you having fun? Good beer, good people. Great. Good combo. Absolutely. Yeah. Can't beat that. Any comments for posterity here? Oh, words, are, words of wisdom? Yeah. Not from us. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> What's your favorite beer here, Dan? Uh, the Althea is a absolutely yeah. wonderful. I agree. Wonderful, but all of the beers here at Galloway Brewery are just fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic brewery. Yeah, product placement. Yeah. Product placement. Oh, product placement. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all the beers are absolutely fantastic. It's really great to see Will Avery again. Uh -huh. The uh, cast is particularly excellent. Yeah, they made an ESB cast for us, which is just the on the test beer. Bat, bat system. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yes, it's been great. Yeah. Here's the world famous Bob Pike. Any words? Uh, good to see Will and all the Atlanta beer crowd and got the sun to come out. Yeah. And if you're over in Seattle. Here, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hit that place. Right. Yeah. Any words, anybody? Uh, it's just great to be here. Another great trip. Your Tokyo Thanks. events just, always have the best tours. Thanks, Owen. It's great. <laughs> you can always trust a guy named Owen. <laughs> and Hamp. Good to see Will. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for coming, guys. Is Eddie from AL yet? Any comments, Eddie? I'm having a great time, Owen. Good. Uh, we, we haven't gone on the tour yet. The uh, barley wine and the Imperial Stout? Yeah. Haven't had it yet. Is he haven't either. I think we got the short end of the stick here, Owen. Well, yeah, we're, definitely, right. we're definitely going to do it. You we'll take the really big end of the stick really and big Will Avery with it. Right. <laughs> What's that, Tom? <laughs> Heard really good things about both of those. Uh, yeah. Both yeah. Those oh, my gosh. Ones. The barley wine is almost ready. Yeah. The Imperial Stout needs about another six months. Okay. But it was... That's right. The barley wine needs hey, about 20 it, seconds. It's Will month. Avery. You know he knows how to do barley wines and imperial stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> he got plenty of, uh, of experience with that at Burnt Hickory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I see a couple of uh, Burnt Hickory beers over there that we brought. So. Uh huh. <laughs> That'll be great. You'll get to taste what the aged ones are like now. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming along, guys. Sure. Absolutely. Here's Sachin with Five Points Bottle. Sachin, say hi. What's going on? Sorry How to are put you? you on the spot, Sachi. Drinking beers at Galway. Right. Chilling out in having, fun? having a blast. Great. Life Thanks is not coming. bad. Cool. If we can only live forever. <laughs> I wish. Dark matter. <laughs> Dark matter. <laughs> that would be nice. Any words? Uh, yes. Great to be here. Yeah. Uh, enjoying the beers and okay, the hospitality of uh, Will Avery. Uh huh. I'd just like to make a formal announcement about my partnership with Jeff Rapp into uh, uh, BBF uh, uh, Corporation. Um, that would be the uh, bouncy brought by Fred. And uh, Jeff is the brains behind the organization. I'm just the creative force. Uh, and then. Uh, and then the marketing department the business genius. All right, you lost Jeff's job now. <laughs> ben, any words? No. You having fun? Yes. Okay. Cool. I have single syllables. That's all I do. Okay. All right. All right, hey guys, we're here at uh, Galway Bay Brewery uh, with uh, our good friend JR from Max Loggers, uh, Tom, lead brewer from uh, Galway Bay. Uh, we're brewing a uh, collab today with uh, JR, a good friend of mine from Atlanta. We're actually brewing an India Dark Lager. And, uh, I don't know that I know what it's going to taste like, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to say that there's too much lager in it for an IPA, and some people are going to say it's too hoppy for a lager. But at least you're going into it with no expectations, right? That's um, what makes it good, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, talk to JR a bit about, uh, about some of what's going on in it. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to run up some uh, Pilsner malt, uh, a little uh, Midnight Wheat, Midnight Melanoid wheat, yeah. malt. Uh, I believe we had some Munich malt thrown in there. It's going to come out in nice ruby red, deep ruby red color. And we're going to hop it up with a, a variety of hops on the finish. We, uh, we're still deciding what we're going to finish it with. But we're looking at some autonom right now. Yeah, some autonom, some Zythos. What do you think will be good with the Zythos? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
Truck Miller to Sass. <laughs> Truck just, to, just to keep the lager character yeah. in there. We're, we're gonna dry hop the shit out of it, Sods. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna taste like garden. That <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds great. Nah, nah, just kidding about the Sods. Probably may throw some mosaic in there, That'd something nice. a little yeah. fruity. Yeah. Uh, um, we'll see what happens with it. I, like, like I said, it's a I work in progress. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in a few minutes here whenever we uh, get the hop edition going. Very cool. Um, Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, louder, louder action happening right now. So. Beautiful. Very nice. Cool. Very good. Well, cheers, Owen. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for bringing the lads over. Absolutely. Um, hey, crack today. Absolutely. Thanks Always for making the beer with us. Uh, you'll have to get some video of this uh, fantastic meal we're going to be eating pretty oh, yeah. soon. Oh, yeah. 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 Thanks yeah, to Tom. Yeah, they're, Great they're, crowd they're here. on for us here. So. Yep. Tom seems like the master barbecuer, so. He's the master of something. Uh, That's master right. Something, yeah. <laughs> All right. Master of none. Thanks, guys. Uh, cheers. Cheers. All right. Hey. So I'm Sean, Sean Merrigan, and um, we're here in Rye River Brewing Company, um, Selbridge County, Kildare. Um, this is our brew house here behind us. It's a five vessel brew house. And it's one of the first brew houses to be built in Ireland in about a hundred years, I'd say. So um, quite unique in the amount of vessels and also the fact that it's made here. Most, pretty much, actually, all of our tanks, um, all our fermenters, BBTs, everything is all made here in Ireland. It's something we want to kind of keep it, try and keep it in the country. Um, so we're here in this location um, a year now, um, and then before that we were about. 20 miles up the road in a much, much smaller place, but we kind of outgrew that pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So um, we kind of decided we need to move somewhere else. So um, I look after all the engineering, that sort of stuff here. Um, so I was the one that had to kind of coordinate picking all this stuff up and putting it on the back of trucks and driving it down the road, and getting it here, putting it all back together and actually making it work again. Wow. Um, so that was this time last year, and I can safely say I never want to do it again. Sounds like a it's challenge. Really, it's really, really enjoyable, but it's something you do once, you're like, right, I did that. Check yeah. that off the race, <laughs> and then that's it. Done. Um, so yeah, we do, um, our main brand is McGargles, so we do seven or eight beers now. Actually, it's probably even more at this time, we've actually lost count. We just launched two, three new beers. So we have a double IPA and a session IPA, uh, both of which won awards last night at the Dublin Craft Beer Cup. Um, the double IPA won best IPA in the category, so that won gold, and then our session IPA got the bronze, so out of the, the top three IPAs in the country, we have number one and three. And then last year, our IPA, our, kind of our standard IPA, which kind of sits in between them, um, that won the whole competition altogether. Um, so we're doing, we're doing all right. We entered 14 beers. Is that Francis? Um, Francis won last year. Okay. Um, that was Francis' big bang in IPA, and then we did a little bang in the session, and the double bang in the right. there. Um, the double. Um, we went through something like 14 or 15 beers last night, and every single one. 14. We won 14 medals last night. Yeah, 14 beers made in. 14 medals, so. Every beer got a medal. Every beer got Crazy. a medal. So we're doing something wow. right. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we got to get something right. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm sure there's cool. a lot more. So, you guys know me, I'm JR from Max Loggers. I came over here to brew with my buddy Alex, who can't be here today because he's in the States right now, <laughs> probably getting drunk at Mardi Gras, if I know him. I'd say so. Uh, but we came over last Friday and I, I brewed uh, a Belgian pale ale with Alex, uh, consisting of some Pilsner malt, wheat malt, uh, malted oats, and I believe we're the first people to use Belgian yeast in an Irish brewery. I'm not too sure. First Belgian yeast in this brewery for sure. Uh, we finished that beer up with some grapefruit zest and juice and also some Equinox hops. It's getting uh, dry hopped, well yesterday dry hopped and last night. Some more grapefruit going into it, uh, I believe today or tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, it's tasting good already. We, uh, we had a nice little taste here a few minutes ago. And it's looking, tasting really good. We're uh, packaging that under the Whiplash brand, which is uh, one of Alex's uh, personal brands that's brewing out of uh, Rye River here. Uh, so we're looking forward to that coming out, and I believe we're canning that. Yeah, that's going, going yeah. to come, so it's guys that do our kind of first movement. Yeah, this place is fantastic, and uh, the people here, like, all, like in all of Ireland, is just, are just amazing. So, uh, had a great time. Yeah, sounds Some great. Beer. Nothing to do with the beer or anything. No, right, right, yeah. it's Irish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The beer just makes it better. The beer does make it All better. Right. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. No problem at all.